last thing I want to talk about, Rakovetsky talked about, and it, it may seem self-evident to us, but he was one of the first people to really prove and promote the notion that the spine is responsible for all movement. You know from previous training, I've quoted uh, Feldenkrais and a lot of other researchers, that we learn as humans proximally to distally. We learn from the spine first. Right? But Rakovetsky was one of the first people to say, Look, let's take somebody with no legs. Well, let's watch them. And they can still walk. They can walk on nubs, on absolutely nothing. And he looked at that energy in the spine, and he saw that the medial wave, what we would call the wave in systema, leads to an axial rotation in the pelvis. And that somebody with no legs is able to walk. So obviously the legs are not what's making us move. And so often in sports, people address the legs, knee stability, occlusion of the knee, the foot strike, and they look at the legs, but they never address the spine. Right? And you see the crossfitters doing the push-ups with a sway back that merits a saddle. You know? and, and they're destroying their body because they're generating all this power, as, the, as they say in fitness training. You know, they're, they're, they're making their, their cannon more powerful, but they're still fundamentally firing it from a canoe. The primary movers are powerful, but there's nothing holding that shit together, and it's going to lead to catastrophic failure. And when you start to understand it, you start to see that weakness everywhere around you. And what Grakowetsky said was that the spine is the engine. The spine is the source of all movement. If it is incorrect, if we don't appreciate it, if we don't feel it, that's why we have a knee injury. That's why we have a foot injury. It is impossible to have a defective joint without affecting the wholeness of the body. So even a bad finger is going to mess up the whole ecology eventually, worse and worse and worse. And the main precept is that the body, as we already know from systemic structure, is an unstable structure. It's a biped. It's not a tripod. It is not stable. The body is also puppeted by gravity. We evolved in response to gravity, to be as good as we could in response to gravity. But what's perhaps most important is that that instability is kept in stasis and is operating because of the central nervous system. And so we're going to be looking at healing the self, restoring the self, strengthening the self by addressing the fascia, the sliding tissue, the connective tissue, starting with the spine.